Hey, Cass. Yes, Steve. Want to do an episode? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. It's time for the house cat. Where? Where? Thematically appropriate, at least. Also, at least this one has a bell. watching The House of Cat. Happy first Sunday after the first full moon, after the first solstice of the year. There is no way that Easter is a pagan holiday. It's entirely 100% Christian. God bless. And Margaret Thatcher is still dead. Woo! Guess what time of the year it is? Lich Queen of New Orleans? I mean... Can't be any worse than the one we actually have. Nazareth 2? The Quickening? Nazareth? Nazareth 2? Nazareth. There. Oh, Cass. Oh, Cat. <laughs> it's about that time of year, isn't it? About that time again, I guess, righto. Righto, you think? Happy Easter, Cass. Thanks. Uh, I got you a um a, 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 an owl from Belconnen. I've got the owl from Belconnen. Oh, what Steve? No, no, that that's. Wait, what? Up next, the chaos cards. I wonder if they've got anything to say for us today. Oh, it's a public holiday this week. Probably not. Greetings, friends. I'm this cat. This is the Fortune Teller's Cat, and these are the Chaos Cards. We have a reading for you for the week starting April 10. Let's see if the cards want to tell us. The cards don't want to do that, so the cards aren't going to do that. The cards are very clear how they feel tonight. And we have one more shuffle just because of that. The week, the energies we bring into the week, the week ahead, and the results coming from the week. Coming into this week, the cards do what the cards do best, and that is they've always have the right to say, yeah, nah, nah, creative heavens, nothing for you. This looks like it could be having quite the week off on the April 10 because the energies of the week are also now. Purple. Purple normally representing knowledge is nothing to report. And our final card, our supplementary number, is caution required. It is possible that this is a week perhaps of purple knows but it doesn't always tell so this might be the week where what you are looking for can't necessarily be found whether it's your car keys whether it's the coins down the back of the couch purple is saying caution required it may know but it may not tell knowledge insight but this time humility it might be the week where because we're having to wait perhaps wait our turn that it's worth considering that from this week, we should move carefully, perhaps not take the judgments, given the background information seems to have been silent, perhaps not take those judgments from this week to the next, but to be mindful. And with that, that's our reading for April 10 for The House of Cats. Hi, I'm this cat, and I'd just like to take a moment to point out that in the Chaos Card readings, the Generation 1 deck doesn't work public holidays because April 9, is Easter. April 10 was the week we were reading for, so the cards had a null leading into the week because they were off on the Easter long weekend doing absolutely nothing and had nothing for us, and the week itself was a bit of a write-off because nobody really has got that concentration that four-day week, and it said caution required on the way out because don't trust your judgment when you've been absolutely off your nut on chocolate. I've got to have the only fortune-telling rig on the planet that you have to bribe with hot cross buns to get a result around Easter. Oh, Cat. Oh, Cass. Guess what time of the year it is? Christmas. Close enough. I got you a thing. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, is this a landmine? Hey! Well, that was that. And now, to this. Hi, I'm this cat, and I'm on the road for the next big things. And this is one of Australia's most definitive big things. This is the big banana. This is probably patient zero of the Australian big tourist things. I kind of wish I had actually brought a banana for scale. There's a little plaque at the base of the big banana that tells you the backstory. Big things are now a form of artistic expression unique to Australia. The 1964, someone said, I got an idea. What if we were to make a banana? Not just any banana. What if we made the biggest concrete banana we could imagine? Why not do that? Why not go wholesale and go the full banana? There's a couple of things. In terms of the next big thing, Okay, it, it wins for, it is the patient zero. It's the origin. It's definitely a big thing. But it also raises this interesting idea of this is one of the big things that is basically a roadside billboard for a product. This was the banana promotional banana. I did just say banana promotional banana, but you was put together by Banana Growers Federation to promote banana. How many more bananas do you need after the big one? Also, there is a slightly smaller scale knockoff variant of it down the way. So these are the Cunningham bananas. They rate a mention in the next big thing because they do actually rate a mention on a number of the big things list. I mean, sure, they are bananas of unusual scale, but are they truly a big thing? Particularly, as it is a bit cheeky, they're down in Coffs Harbour. So is that the definitive big banana or just a bunch of larger than average banana? I appreciate the sheer nerve it takes to run a larger than unusual size of banana bunch when you've got the big banana nearby. But the other thing I want to say about the big banana is that it is the Tully Blanchard of the business. Now, for those of you not familiar with wrestling, Tully Blanchard was a legend back in the day, but realized that being a legend didn't mean you stayed a legend. You had to do more. You had to partner with other people because he's partnered with FTR, one of the best wrestling tag teams in the business. And the big banana worked that out very early is that it's not just enough to be a landmark. You've got to be more than that. So they've teamed up with a bunch of other places. So it's now theme park. It's this is what I mean about the big banana going the full Tully Blanchard. They have paired up with the Reptile World, a uh, mini golf course, a bunch of other theme park items. It's genius. It's brilliant. I'm this cat. I'm on the road for the next big things. And this is the big banana in Coffs Harbour. And it is one of the next big things. In fact, it is the original big thing. <laughs> You're watching the House of Cats. It's time to get cracking. Yes. Ready? Round one. Crackers and go. Victory. This cat's point for Team Cat. Oh, flavor. <laughs> uh, you got a two-inch ruler. Judgment has been passed. And a party hat. Because when I think about nailing someone to a cross, what I'm looking for. I thought the nails were supposed to be nine inches. Small Jesus. Very personal. Round two. Carrot. Christmas cracker. Easter. You can repurpose everything these days. Hey, Cass. Hey, Cat. Round two. Get cracking. On guard. And fight. Ow. Flavor. Apparently the flavor of defeat. Like Easter puns? Not that I found. Oh, my God. It's origami carrot. For when you really don't like children. And another hat. Valley fold, gate fold, nail here. Did we get inverted hats? I think we got inverted commas. Yeah, I think we got inverted hats. I also appreciate the fact that it comes with instructions that haven't been rolled up. Once for the money, 
two for the show. Three to get ready. Let's go, cat, go. Two rod. And pull. I think my scoop was dead. So what prize did you win? Pardon? <laughs> Another, you got an origami rabbit? I got an origami rabbit. I don't have questions. Ah! How did they get through the entirety of Easter and go, we're going to take Christmas crackers, Easterize them, and leave out the puns? There's only so many puns you can make about nails. Uh, I think you can hammer the point home. Tonight on This Cat Has Been Excommunicated, we bring you This Cat's Excommunicator. El Gato excommunicado. Hey! Paul versus Claw. Chermside Kingpin. Round 4. The rules. 0 points for a miss, 1 point to touch, 2 points for a move, 3 points for a grab, 5 points for the prize. Round 1. Round two. Round three. Round one. Round two. Round three. Scoreboard. Team Cass and Team Cat. Two points each, with two drawn events. Oh, friends, I'm this cat. That was the House of Cats. Episode number six of season two. The Easter long weekend edition in which the Chaos cards didn't. The Fortune Teller's cat apparently doesn't do public holidays. Who knew? There was a case of the next big thing down in Coffs Harbour where we encountered the oversized banana and the big banana. Plus also, there was another round of Paw vs. Claw as the competition heats up as we move towards the finality of our second season. And finally, thanks to Friend Cass for a lot of mucking about with all things Easter this long weekend and this season. So with that in mind, it is an ideal time now for this cat to throw to 
those credits. Well, I had fun, and I hope you did too. This was the House of Cat, and thank you for being part of our show. Oh. <laughs> I just, for the record, some of the finest swearing that's happened on this has been during the House of Cat 4 vs. Claw Championships when a cat has won something and the camera operator is heard to say, Holy fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>